Mom. That's good. Wow. Oh, you're doing really good. You sent the pizza to my dad, maybe, huh? You're okay. You know you're not going to fall. It's on that stand. Huh? But you know you won't fall because it's on the stand, so. Doing a good job. Okay. I did decide that I want to go ahead and add a little bit more oatmeal. And I'm just shaking it in there. Like I said, you know, everything does not have to be perfectly measured. I know there are those that this is. Okay, so I did add a little more oatmeal because, like I said, I um, didn't want to dispose of the butter. So I figured I'd just add a little more oatmeal, a little more crumble on the bottom, a little more crumble on the top is a wonderful thing. So we'll just leave it like that. Now I'm going to take... Uh, probably about half of this and I'm gonna scoop it into I'm gonna make sure I'm good and mixed here and it's crumbly see it the butter's just like locked in with that flour and I'm just gonna kind of dump it into the bottom of my pan here which I did spray with some olive oil so you can do that however you like and again I have never this is this is not like a recipe out of a book or anything I'm sure there's one out there somewhere that you could probably follow and I have never done this in the Sun oven so if it ends up being an epic fail you will know right along with me that it's an epic fail okay so there we go now got them nice apricots they were sitting there just getting nice and warm and I'm just kind of kind of probably have too many so I'm not going to use them all but with us, it's never a problem because we can eat them with breakfast, uh, with some yogurt, so. Then again, it might not be too much. Yeah, it will be. Because uh, if I put too many in, it might get soggy, so. And there we go. You know, because the fruit you just want to kind of taste, it's, we all know it's all about the crumble, right? So, we're definitely going to have the crumble there. All right. Now, we got that in there, and I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top. And I'm not going to, like, flatten it out or anything. I'm just going to leave it just like it is. Okay. And then we'll check the sun oven, see what the temperature is, see if I need to realign it, and we'll go from there. Okay. The oven is at... 300 right now so that's warm enough I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this little puppy in the Sun oven and I adjusted it to be with the Sun so we'll get it in and we'll check it in about 20 30 minutes and there you have it now it's in the Sun oven so we'll keep you posted and <laughs> as usual I got busy and forgot that it was out here it's been in there for 40 minutes baked beautifully perfectly all right so gonna take this out finish mixing up the cornbread and pop in the cornbread